SoCal has one of the most exciting taco scenes in the country. Heavenly. It was so delicious. If you close your eyes, you can kind of like, am I eating Mexican food or am I eating like, you know, Greek food, Middle Eastern food right now? And we're eating our way through some of the best in town. There's always room at the taco stand for everyone. You can tell when you eat the tacos, it's just like so fresh and delicious. Come here for the tacos, always. From LA's most popular taco chain to neighborhood taquerias and food trucks, KBC's morning team has you covered. Mm, it's so juicy. Tacos in Los Angeles are all about variety. We have more than any place on the planet. Localish LA starts right now. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Localish LA from King Taco in East Los Angeles. For millions of Angelinos, this restaurant is a familiar sight off the 710 freeway and a staple in the community. And it's also one of my favorite places after the morning newscast to come on by here and have some tacos for breakfast. Yeah, I can't think of a better place in Southern California to celebrate tacos than right here. If you're not hungry now, you're gonna be. I think this is the best assignment of the day. I couldn't agree more. Tacos are life. And every Taco Tuesday, we are highlighting different taquerias. And in honor of National Taco Day on October 4th, we are taking you on a SoCal taco tour. First up, Trejo's Tacos in Santa Monica. So six years in, are you surprised by how popular Trejo's Tacos is? I'm overwhelmed. I mean, but then it's good food. You know, it's like everybody keeps asking us, what's your secret, what's your secret? They don't see it's good food. You know, the first time I had your tacos, you brought them to our station so generously, and I fell in love with Trejo's. Can you just tell me about what we have out here? What we have right here, this is my favorite. It's the Baja fish taco. And it is just absolutely delicious, and I love the white fish. <laughs> this is our favorite jackfruit. Yeah, I love how inclusive the menu is. The jackfruit taco is the first vegan taco I had, and it is my favorite. It's just absolutely delicious. The uh, carnitas, yeah. which is pork, and really, they're all my favorites. Barbacoa, probably the number one seller in the best. Beef brisket, and it's absolutely delicious. We marinated it for two days, so it's, it's really so tender. I want you to try that. That Ooh, is the beef barbacoa. The beef barbacoa. It's brisket. Should Absolutely. I put a little, should I put a little lime can, on it? You can if you want I to. love I, beef barbacoa. Okay, is, mm, I can't wait. This is like, a, I love it. Mm, it's so juicy. All the flavors complement each other. I love it, Danny. Mm. So good. I'm having that one next. <laughs> Wait, why didn't they send me to eat tacos with Danny Trejo? Yeah, that barbacoa is amazing. <laughs> Definitely worth a try. And that's the great thing about living here in Los Angeles. The choices are incredible for barbacoa to fusion to classics. It goes on and on. What sets our tacos apart from what everyone else is doing is TJ style with a Peruvian touch. That's what really has set us apart. My name is Danny Rodriguez. I'm the founder of Pablito's Tacos, and we're here in Burbank, California. And what is the Peruvian touch? It's tacos like the Lomo Satao tacos. It's, it has a lot of that Asian influence in Peruvian food. So when we get the steak on the wok, and then we throw Roma tomatoes and red onions and soy sauce, oyster sauce, red wine vinegar, we flame that. That meat and, and the veggies marinate in a beautiful flavor. Lomo Saltado is the best taco I've ever had. Over at Buenos Migos in Staten, their Quesa Birria tacos are hot sellers, made with more than a dozen spices, a mozzarella and Oaxacan cheese. What we like to do is we take our Asian influence and we kind of put a little bit like Asian spices and just flavors that go into what we create over here. This is not a lie. I literally think it's one of the best birria I've ever had. Well, we also have uh, Los Originales Tacos Árabes de Puebla, one of my favorite taco trucks. In the case of Tacos Árabes, I would not call them fusion. I would call it Mexican food. There's really all these cross influences. They use a vertical spit that was brought by people from the Middle East, immigrants to Mexico. It has evolved in every stop that it's made. The recipe crossed two borders already, from the Middle East to Mexico and from Mexico to LA. In Southern California, we also have modern Mexican cuisine, which went into overdrive with the arrival of Chef Enrique Olvera from Mexico City, who brought Damian and Detroit, his taquerias, here in the Arts District here in Los Angeles. On both menus, you'll find tacos. 
but also influenced by this cross-cultural thing of Mexican-Americans and chefs in Mexico that now have embraced modern tacos, like fish tacos at Damian, pork belly, chile relleno, and the taco dorado de pescado. But for me, the chile relleno taco, it's the best thing I think ever invented. You are missing out, you have to do this. From unique gourmet tacos to modern bites and brick and mortar eateries elevating popular street tacos. We opened up our taqueria in 2016. The ta style taco that we were serving was something that we couldn't find at the time here. We came here to do things estilo sonora. Coming to America and these tacos are incredible. This lovely kind of just smoky flavor, kind of like barbecue food, but Mexican. Every day we sell like hundreds of tacos. The Villeria Gonzalez in the city of Whittier has the best birria in LA. These tacos are Tijuana style. They uh, come with cheese, toasted tortilla, crunchy, really good. So when you're eating a taco and people take the first bite, they can taste the Tijuana style. You're gonna leave with a smile on your face. Locally, we've been recognized in the top five restaurants, even though we've been only several months open. I would say that the quesadilla would be the favorite of everyone. Birria is a, a meat that's popular in pretty much all of Mexico, but what we do is we, we're bringing it, our recipes from Guadalajara. When we found this place, it was exactly what we had hoped it would be. When you bite in, it has both, you know, crunchy and soft, but you can actually sometimes stretch out the cheese. It's all, you know, all cooked together into a perfect taco. We're at Cacao Mexicatessen in Eagle Rock. We're modern Mexican food, we kind of do our take on what we grew up with. But the one taco that guests must try when they come in is the De Carnitas taco. It's by far what put us on the map. It's absolutely delicious. So this is Taco Chico in the city of Tustin, California. Here at Taco Chico, we are offering flavors from Puebla, Mexico, and also we do tacos de pastor, de buche, asada, but I feel that the taco that is becoming a local favorite is the taco de suadero. Yo le estoy dando un toque poblano, que es donde originalmente soy yo, y un poco de Tijuana, chile style, como le llaman. A little bit of crispiness, a little bit of fattiness. The suadero is just something different and unique. We're here at Taco Los Cholos in Fullerton. It's like an experience coming here. I mean, as soon as you walk in here, you smell the meat. We're one of the only few ones that cook everything on a, on a charcoal grill. And we also throw mesquite wood in there. You really don't go to like taco places for like filet mignon, because they usually don't have that. But here they have it and it's so good. This is Taqueria de Ana, real estate of Placencia, California. My parents started a business about over 42 years ago, coming from a small town from Mexico called Arandas, Jalisco. Came here as an American dream to start their own business. We cook it till it's uh, maybe about medium. Bring it up, we chop it up, grill it again, finalize it. Give it tortilla, the original way we made it in Mexico. With the hand, put onion, cilantro, and the salsa, and then you lay it on. Place. We love what we do. This is probably the best taco I've ever had. It just tastes so fresh, like it's unbelievable. I'm Chef Big Banucci, and this is Pachamama, my restaurant located in Ocean Front Walk, Venice Beach, of course, the famous Venice Beach. We are trying to be the most organic as possible. I think the most special dish in our menu is the tacos. We have carne asada, chicken, and we have vegan tacos as well. Like the flavor. Not too hot, not too spicy, but it just tings your mouth and your tongue. It just goes BAM! Coming up on Localish LA, vegan Mexican tacos. You could totally veganize so many different foods. Plus, it's all about the tortillas. The tortilla makes it. I don't know, it's so good. The best vegan Mexican food Ever, 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 ever. This taco, the pickled onions, they just pop. Our hunt for the best tacos in Los Angeles continues from East LA's King Taco. And over the past few years, Mexican vegan cooking is really taking off. Chefs are now recreating traditional dishes for a whole new generation. And we are at Vegan by El Zamorano in Costa Mesa, California. The hibiscus flower is a local favorite for sure. It's a big celery. First we boil it, we saute it with onions, garlic, seasonings, and then we top it with cilantro, onion, pineapple. 
and guacamole, green salsa, and it's just the party flavors going on in there. Arbibia is Jalisco style and it's so close to the original, but everything on our menu is 100% plant-based. I've been vegan for two years. Having the options like at Senna Vegan is just so helpful because when we are craving an authentic Mexican dish, we know that there's like a spot that we could find. It's so worth it to live a healthier life. And over in Highland Park at Homestead, it's vegan cooking with a dash of Texas. If it's your first time joining us at Home State, I recommend trying the potato taco on flour. It's a vegetarian taco, but it's got a little bit of everything in it. My mom grew up in Texas, and she approves. We're really well known for our flour tortillas. They're freshly made. I can smell them right now. It smells so delicious. They have a great tradition of flour tortillas in Texas. And Home State is really famous for this. And you can actually just go in and get a tortilla with a little butter and that's like heaven. The taco was created probably the first time someone made a tortilla. So tortillas have been around for thousands of years. The thing about tacos is tacos are the way we eat in Mexican culture, and it's always been that way. There was no fork, there was no spoon, there was just the tortilla, the original utensil. So that's where the taco started. Places like Taquero in Irvine mill their own corn. Honestly, I keep coming back here because it's just so good. The tortilla makes it. While the deep fried tortillas at Glendora's Maria's Mexican restaurant give their tacos an extra crunch. The tacos and shredded are just so good. The shredded are just so crunchy. And in downtown Los Angeles at Tirsa's, they're known for their handmade tortilla goodness. And it's magical. And check out this tortilla machine in Riverside's Taco Station. It's got everything you would want in a taco in it. A lot of meat, a lot of cheese, fresh avocado, and uh, pick your favorite salsa. You can't, can't go wrong. Up next, the KABC Morning Team does tacos right. Oh my. Mm. Plus, love-filled tacos. It's an explosion of, of flavors. You get the little crunch on the chorizo, it's perfect. And check out our interactive map at abc7.com slash taco Tuesday, highlighting every taqueria featured on our taco tour. Having a bad day, eat a taco. Having a good day, eat a taco. Towards the end of the weekend, I'm looking forward to Tuesday. Welcome back to Localish LA. We're celebrating all things tacos. Here with me now is a longtime manager here at King Taco in East Los Angeles, Sonia Areola. Thank you so much for having me here. I appreciate it. My pleasure. How long have you been here? For 43 years. 43. 43. 43. 43, that's such a long time. What keeps you here? They keep me, they push me like home. This is my second home. And I'm really, really happy. So not only me, the whole employees. Gosh, that is so incredible to work with a family-owned business. But you have probably done every job in here. From the bottom to right now. Here's the question. I myself, I like al pastor. What is your favorite taco? Al pastor too. Really? <laughs> they call it the tronco. What sauce do you do? Salsa verde or the roja? No, normally al pastor is roja. So that's the tradition. Okay. Uh -huh. How many tacos does this King Taco make every day? Oh, they make a thousand and thousand. Okay. And we have a new product, the chicharrón, taco de chicharrón. Ah. Oh. That's really, really good. Is the chicharrón suavecito or duro? It's uh, soft. It's soft, okay. Okay, I'm hungry now. Let's go see what the crew wants. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so Rach, what do you want? I'm thinking two carne asada, two al pastor. All right, I have to try the al pastor. And I think I'm gonna do the same. Mm -hmm. Two carne asada, two al pastor. That's great. Yeah. You got oh, this. Wonderful. So we got this. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, my. Mm. Mm. Those are good. Mm. You can tell these tacos are made with love, but now it's time to check out some other favorite spots of ours where Amor is the secret ingredient. 
We're in Corazon, Taste of Mexico, in the city of Brea, Orange County. So Corazon is something that, you know, growing up playing soccer is like, put your heart to it. That's kind of how I live. You know, do everything with love, do everything with your Corazon. And, you know, it's, it's something that symbolizes love and passion. I wouldn't say this is your typical street taco. There's such a thing as a gourmet taco. This is your like top of the line gourmet taco in my book. So our chorizo con papa, it's, uh, it's actually one of my favorites. It's a spicy chorizo. It's a chipotle ancho mashed potato filled with love, filled with corazón. So once you wrap that taco, it's an explosion of, of flavors. You get the little crunch on the chorizo. It's perfect, like it has a little kick. It invites you to keep having more and more and more. We are at Fonda Moderna in Tustin, California. Un taco que es muy popular en Fonda Moderna que es el Wagyu Mishima. Es una carne de mucha calidad, es prime. Es un largo proceso para hacer un taco, pero lleno de amor. Oh my God, it is some of the best, fresh, authentic Mexican food in town. They do tacos different. It's amazing. It's amazing. so amazing. good. I think what makes the perfect taco is well-seasoned meat and the salsa. Ok, básicamente primero cocinamos la carne, después ponemos la tortilla, malteamos el queso, frijoles, la carne, el cilantro y la salsa. Y el toque de queso que va arriba, que es un queso malteado, el cotija cheese. The taste, the meat, the flavor. I mean, they have it all. Amazing. La cultura que queremos representar en un simple taco. Siendo un simple taco, podemos hacer cosas grandes. You can't understand how food could be that good unless you come here and try this food. It'll blow you away. Just watching that platter of food come out that we've ordered is, is like part of their like experience of coming here. This is the best. I am addicted to it. There's something wrong with my body if I'm not here three or four times a week. We're at Heritage Barbecue in San Juan Capistrano, California. You know, I think people in California, they wake up and they crave tacos and Texas, they wake up and they crave brisket, you know, so we put both of them together and that's what we created here at, at Heritage. It's definitely not your typical taco. With ours, you know, it could take up to 12 or 14 hours for that protein to be done. The result is you get something that you can't get anywhere else. If you're a fan of seafood, these surf and turf spots are stacking some tasty tacos. This is Desvelados uh, Glendale. The Desvelado, it's a, a very flavorful taco, and it is the heart of uh, the restaurant. The tangy chipotle sauce, it is smothered over battered shrimp to perfection. It comes on melted cheese, and it's all melted to perfection for you, and it's gonna melt in your mouth like you will never imagine. Very different from any other tacos that we've had. The shrimp and carne salad combination, that's pretty interesting. The surf and turf type, yeah, it's pretty good so far. The concept is so unique so flavorful. The cocina is such a scratch kitchen. You taste the difference. It's very homey. It feels good in your heart. It feels good in your palate and it feels good in the soul. I can do catering any, any day. Tuesday nights, I'm in Ontario at Firewater Bar. Um, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., I'm right here at Omni Deli. I usually serve single tortilla, crisp it up. A nice crisp, you don't need two tortillas. You can always serve one single. I throw some uh, sirloin steak, and I mix it in with some uh, shrimp, and throw some shrimp juice on top of that. Throw some onions and cilantro, green salsa, and we top it off with a um, homemade chipotle sauce and a little bit of cotija cheese. These tacos are amazing. If you never had it, I recommend you coming here and getting it. Still to come, our taco tour continues. From the most outrageous creations to a dessert shop making ice cream tacos. Oh, the kids love it. They always like ogle through the little glass that we have. If you love a taco and you have a sweet tooth, I suggest you come to this place. This one was just perfect with all the sauce and the ingredients. We're in Anaheim, California at Por Vida Tortillas and Taps. We're on Center Street Promenade in Anaheim Boulevard. We put some thought into it and it's very chef driven. You can come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can start off with the pancake taco. For lunch, you can come and get a Brussels sprout taco. And then you, one of our top sellers is the Anaheim Burger Taco. It's an inspired of our California In-N-Out Burger. So we use 100% ground beef, handmade tortilla. We do our secret sauce, lettuce and tomato. It's nice and gooey, it has that meat, that cheese, the crispiness from the lettuce. My background is from a steakhouse. And everything that I created, I did it uh, you know, a little more upscale. So I wanted the people to try something that they usually just can't get at any other taqueria. I came 
out here to check it out and turns out they have a ton of tacos. This is an awesome spot for Taco Tuesday. You don't get your traditional tacos here to be honest with you. Today I had the Anaheim Burger Taco and it tasted so good. I get it every time because it reminds you of an In-N-Out burger. And this taco just hits the spot. Evil Cooks is a taco concept located in El Sereno, which is on the eastern side of Los Angeles. He creates amazing um, black al pastor, black carne asada, and most recently, um, the black octopus, which has gone super viral on social media. People love it. First, we uh, brine our octopus to tenderize it, and we brine in a carnitas mixture to give that flavor and like what we try to do with the octopus is to uh, melt in your mouth. Some people's gonna hate it, some people's gonna love it. That's the beauty of creating something new. Only in LA, right? Right? Yeah. yeah, that looks great. But now I'm craving dessert and I know just the spot. Hey, Rachel, John, Leslie, you can see the right spot. Let me show you around. Welcome to Sweet Old Tacos. Everybody loves ice cream tacos. Here at Sweet Old Tacos, we try to make ice cream really fun. You know, you see your ice cream made fresh from beginning to end into the waffle cone decorating. We've been open for over five years. So uh, at Sweet Old Tacos, I make ice cream by hand. So I pour out the base onto a, a freezing plate. Uh, the plates freeze the surface of the plate to negative 20 degrees Celsius. So it cools pretty fast. So I have to work pretty fast. And then I turn that into ice cream tacos. We pour out the batter onto a waffle iron. They look like tacos because we put them on a mold. It's very similar to sugar cone. And on this day, the team had a delightful surprise. Today we're making our seven favorite ice creams for our favorite morning news team. So here we have the cookies and cream. That's the most popular right now. We have the mint Oreo. Coconut Delight is toasted coconut, graham cracker dust, caramel and chocolate, Rainbow Road Fruity Pepper Ice Cream. This is our Cookie Monster, Monster Inc. with Oreo and chocolate chip cookie, this strawberry cheesecake, and this uh, coffee and Oreo, coffee and cream. Seven tacos for my favorite morning team. Gosh, that looks delicious. We're going to Garden Grove. Yeah, I'll drive. And don't forget to check out our map, highlighting these great taco spots at abc7.com slash taco Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Happy eating.